Hi, this is Sai Morton with the daily update on EuroFX. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the ForexPisami.com forums weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation on the currency markets and should help you to stand top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit ForexPisami.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Greetings everybody guys, let's take a look in the gold market finally since we have skipped, uh, sk skipped this uh, analysis in the weekend, we've dedicated the time to Great British Pound. But in the gold market is currently also very interesting and intriguing situation because currently uh, the actually is deciding the question whether the market will proceed upward action or deep retracement could start it. Currently market stands between the two vital areas, two levels that we should keep an eye on and depending what levels will be broken, that should uh, show us the point as the direction. On a daily chart, uh, well, market shows at first glance nothing interesting, so it shows the bounce up from our 1687 area, as we said. It's our first level where we have considered the taking a long position. Uh, and currently, it seems that, well, some chaos exists in the markets because gold is moving together with the uh, stock market uh, that's well, well actually it's rare happens y usually only when the different driving factors stand simultaneously on the market so on the stock market supported by the external extre extreme liquidity that was, was provided gold in turn is supported by the turmoil that stands in the united states that stands in china so this uh, geopolitical tensions support the gold although for the gold support is not as significant as for the stocks. So anyway, gold was able to show a bit high action. So last week we well, talked about the just minor ABC retracement on intraday charts, if you remember, but it was able to move slightly higher. But currently at the same time, it stands at the point that's very important. First of all, take a look, it corresponds to the previous stops right here. So it stands approximately the same area. And we still keep in mind the possible hand and shoulders here. This could be formed if market will start to show deep retracement. That's important. But at the same time, we just can't ignore the clear bullish uh, pattern. So first of all, it is easy to recognize the bearish divergence, but not obviously to see the bullish hidden divergence. So take a look, MACD shows new lows, but the market is not showing high highs. And potentially, this is bullish situation. And where the market will continue to move higher, depends on on its response to the level where it stands on the 4-hour time frame chart. So take a look what we have actually. On the 4-hour time frame chart, market already has completed the necessary retracement if we would suggest that this is bearish scenario. If we would suggest that market stands in the bearish trend, it shows ABCD retracement, right the OP, it is completed right at the major 618 level and following the logic of the bearish scenario, market has to turn down and continue existed trend. And if this really will happen, and market starts dropping right back down, that confirms that we should be ready for a deeper drop. First, it will be to the 1687, back to this level, but potentially that could lead us to the 1650, 1640, it's confidence support. That's what we, will, we could get if market will turn down right from there and starts dropping. So it means that, well, if you have the bearish view, you, 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 you could consider different ways to take the position. Uh, one of them is uh, trying to take the minor part of your position with the stops above the OP. That's theoretically possible. But here we have the tricky moment. Uh, take a look, the market is forming the bullish grabber. Bullish grabber itself suggests the taking out of this top. Theoretically, there is no necessity for the grabbers in taking out of the top because the OP is already has been hit. There's no extended target stance above it that could be reached. It means that by, by the grabber market could just show the upward continuation. From that standpoint, well, it's not quite safe or it's, it brings just additional risk for taking the position immediately. So it, but it will be better to see what will happen with the grabber. Correspondingly, the bulls, if you're watching for taking the long position, you could keep an eye on this grabber. If it will be formed, it suggests that market could show a spike up at least from taking out of this tap. That could let you move stops to the break even. That's minor technical mon te technical moment that exists currently on the forward time frame chart. On the hourly chart, we also have some levels 
That's very e important for us. Potentially, guys, here's some hand shoulders could be formed. Reversal patching. Here's guys, by the way, the butterfly could be formed and, and grabber could be could work. It's also why why I'm talking about this overall short term trade. Uh, and take a look. It points the hourly chart points different additional level for for bulls. It's vital area for the bulls. It's 1715 area. Until the 1715, the bull scenario, bulls, bullish scenario will be valid because market could form the bullish pattern here. 618 retracement, completion of the A B C top X O P target around the agreement, and then it could reestablish upper direction. Maybe it will happen from the O P. It's also possible. But I'm talking right uh, on, on the vital areas. This is not the vital area. That is the vital area. So that being said, we have two levels that cl clarify the direction. First one, for the bears, it's resistance where the market stands right now. It's important. So market has to turn down right from there. Then bears should control the breakout of this level, 1715. Once it will be broken, that will be the proof that market stands in the bear trend and intends to drop lower. Downward action in this case will continue. For the bulls, we have the different situation. While market stands above this area and keep chance on reverse hand and shoulders, bullish context is valid. And then, whether we will take position at the OP or based on the grabber or on around the XOP, we should control, I mean, from the bullish point of view, the breakout of the this area. Once it will be broken, it will prove that market stands in the bullish scenario. That was just a retracement, and market keeps tendency on the daily chart. So, as you can see, overall situation not as very difficult. Just we need to estimate just uh, proper levels that could explain us everything, and let us to make the conclusion on the price action. That being said, what both sides could do in the current circumstances for the bulls, if you have would like to take the long position, you could consider first of all grabber. Once it will be completed and it will be confirmed by the close price, you could try to take the long position with the stops below this area first with some minor part of your trade. That's one scenario. Second scenario, you could just consider for a deeper retracement, maybe right to this level. Whether this will be formed or not, I do not know, but that's vital area, that ultimate point. Uh, for the taking the long position. That's more suitable for those who do not have a lot of money on the account and need to place tight stop. In this case, if you'll take the position around the agreement, you could place stop just below it because that's actually a vital area for the bullish scenario. All other traders could combine different ways, split your positions, taking different parts of the positions in different points. Uh, using the grabber, using the this agreement first, taking the mild some position when the pullback most stops to the break even and see what will happen. Market will drop lower, take position here with the stops here. So that's what bulls could do. The bears, uh, well, actually market stands already in a vital point and it should not move higher. So if you would like to take the short position, your stop anyway will be about this area. Once market will break it, uh, that will definitely tell you that the bearish context has failed, but better to avoid immediate wash out from your from, from the market, uh, keep an eye on the grabber. So if it will be formed, do not take the short position. Wait what will happen. Second approach for the bears is to wait the breakout below this agreement. Once it will be happen, that will prove you that market is moving lower. And that will be safer opportunity for taking the short position. Maybe even you could apply the stop sell order slightly below this area. So that's what we have currently on the gold and it seems that uh, this week we probably should get some more clarity on the direction.